in. We appreciate you making it out today from your classes. Appreciate all the teachers who have come to support today. For those who don't know me, my name is Mr. Kyle Dortch. I'm the director of bands here at Eastern Guilford. And today we're doing what's called a Music in Our Schools Month concert. For those of you who are not aware, March is not only Arts in Our Schools Month, but also specifically Music in Our Schools Month. And in order to prepare these students behind me to get ready for this time of year, which is usually when we do something called MPA, which is Music Performance Adjudication, where we actually sit in front of judges and we perform music. We're doing this little concert, particularly during the day, to give them an opportunity to prepare for stuff like that going into next year, and to give you an opportunity to see some of what we do during the day. So we're gonna play for you several pieces today. A couple of notes. Number one, make sure that if you'd like to record it, you're more than welcome to. Just no flash photography. If you need to get up and use the bathroom during performances, please make sure you wait until we are silent and changing pieces over. Additionally, at several points during this performance, there will be times where we do what are called sweeps, where we'll perform a short section of music and then have silence before the next point. Make sure that you wait and hold your applause until I step off the podium. That will be your cue to know that song is done. So if you hear silence, don't assume it's clappy time. So the group in front of me, uh, group behind me, sorry. The group behind me is made up of intermediate and proficient players. So I've got some that have been playing for three years, some that have been playing for five years, some that have been playing for up to seven years. So with this group, um, we've been working for these first nine weeks, just performing music, working on developing it. So what you're going to hear today is about seven pieces. And in that total, uh, it'll be about 30 minute concert. So thank you all for coming and I appreciate it. All right, you guys ready? As I normally do, as if this was a concert, I talk a little bit about the pieces in between. Uh, that's a, what's called command march. Generally, when we do MPA, we start out with a march. That is unscored, so we don't have to worry about judge uh, scores on that one. It's just kind of more for comments, get the uh, band warmed up. We go to this next section. It is called Rolling Hills Overture. An overture is a piece of music that usually happens 
prior to a show, whether it be an opera or it be a musical. So this one's kind of big, changes a lot of styles, and kind of sets the mood for this. This is Rolling Hills Overture. This next one is a suite. The last one used suite-like material, but this next one, they're gonna be three separate parts. This one is called Allegro, Adagio, and Alleluia. 
Each one has its own separate style, its own separate form. But you'll notice there are three. So make sure you wait all the way till the end to get all that out. So this is Allegro, Adagio, and Alleluia by David Aker. pieces we're going to do are a little bit more indicative of some of our slower tunes. It's often very difficult for bands to play slower because the up-tempo stuff you can move through quite quickly. When you're playing some of the slower stuff, it means that you really have to hold your technique, hold your tuning, hold your intonation. These next couple of tunes kind of indicate some of that stuff. This next one is called Remember by Melanie Donaghy.
like to really quickly recognize two people who had solos in that section. Ms. Selena Bertram, call stand up. And Mr. Elias. Our next piece uh, is a little bit fanciful. It's called In the Land of the Locrians. It's based on a mythical people, much like little sprites. You'll hear some interplay with some of these ballad-like tunes. A lot of off count, so it's very easy to lose yourself in the music. But this is In the Land of the Locrians.
So it wouldn't be March without an Irish tune. We just had St. Patrick's Day recently. A lot of these guys and some of our auxiliary went to the St. Patrick's Day Parade this past Saturday, formed about 5,000 front front of people. So we had a nice crowd for that. So this one is called Irish Interludes. It's two movements together, a slower one and a faster one. I'd hold you for 30 minutes and I'm just about at it. So the last piece, uh, generally anytime I do a concert, I like to have a piece that I don't conduct for the primary purpose of for a lot of you, you get used to doing your art without someone in front of you leading. Obviously artists learn to paint without someone holding their hand. Dancers learn to dance without someone standing in front of them and giving them the steps. I want the band to be able to do the same thing. So this last piece is Egyptique. It's based primarily on a lot of Middle Eastern music. So I'm not gonna conduct this one, I get to play. So we'll see how this one goes. This is Egyptique.
to share with you guys unless you stay after school to listen to some of the concerts. So today we wanted to give a good opportunity before we get out of here for spring break to give them a chance to perform and you a chance to hear what we do outside of football games. So thank you all very much. We appreciate you coming and we'll see you after spring break. Thank you.